So I thought I'd give everyone an update on what's going on with the Mac in studio and things like that. And uh, some of the changes I've made. Just minor changes, not big changes. Uh, most of the changes are noted in the corner where the keyboard console stuff is. And uh, the other change that I pretty much made in here was uh, that I put some monitors up hanging from the wall. Uh, just normal consumer speakers that I have hooked up to my stereo so I can get some reference sound and uh, what I did is put a couple of screws in the back of these so you can see if I can get a better shot let's see anyways yeah there's two screws a quarter of the way down the back of the cabinet with washers and uh, I just have some zip ties in there and uh, up here I just have a single screw with a washer and zip ties holding up the speakers uh, the same side over there too. Um, the zip ties work great, they're 50 pounds so I don't really have to worry about the speakers because the speakers are only like 20 pounds if that maybe so it works great and I just have some stoppers here so I don't completely scratch the wall uh, with some duct tape. Anyway so yeah so I have that and the wiring just goes across the top and then over to this old 1970s amp or stereo system. It's a pretty good stereo system um, I use it for, well, all my stuff that comes out of my mixer um, to the monitors and as well as the speakers down here, they have, they're powered. I've got the speakers A and B selection so I can choose either or speakers or both set of speakers at the same time. Uh, it's pretty old, it was given to me uh, many years ago, but it serves its purpose and it works very well, especially for its age. So some of the changes here, I'll just kind of step back um, to my main console here. Not much here has really changed it's the same. The only thing I did do though was I moved the Mac over here and I have the screen for that there. I don't really use it that often. Uh, and over here, the difference with the keyboard console um, is I have a, a new mixer in the corner here that is actually hooked up to the main system here. I'm still using the i7. Of course, I haven't upgraded that in ages. Anyways, it's hooked up via USB and this mixer is also hooked up through the internal sound card as well. And uh, what I do here is I'm just doing stuff on Fruity Loops and, you know, I make stuff, whatever, and, you know, loops and things like that. Um, but the cool thing about this is this is now an extension of the main computer system, the i7. What I have down here is I have this USB to DVI uh, video card, per se, um, that's hooked up via USB and then hooked up to this monitor here. And I have to say it actually works really well to extend the monitor. I've got the 224s over there and uh, I tried this unit and plugged it in. It's got a USB extension on it. Um, all the way to over there and uh, it works really well. I'm actually surprised with it. I can do all my stuff on the screen. I get full resolution and everything. Uh, no problems at all. It even does 1080 which I was actually quite surprised. Now I have this monitor is a built-in USB hub, powered hub with the power that powers a monitor and I just have that hooked to its own USB extension that goes back to the computer here and uh, what I basically just have here is uh, I have the keyboard the um, the keyboard piano here and the mixer plugged into the back of the ports on this monitor and then I have the mouse and keyboard here hooked into the side there and uh, this controls the same computer on the left because I'm either going to be here at the main station or I'm going to be over here at this console so I'm sharing pretty much uh, I've got two keyboards and two mice so like I can come over here and uh, I can do all my stuff here and um, you know I can also go over there and then I can bring up stuff if I want move the screen around so it's good if I'm trying to look for some files or whatever I can quickly go over here and uh, you know I have good eyesight so I'm able to see and, and read what goes on the screen and then just e e either drag my windows over here basically Fruity Loops is dragged 
from that screen to here and then it remembers its position so when I launch it again from here it shows up on this screen and yeah so yeah it's pretty cool how that works it uh, in a way it's an energy saver because I don't have to run another computer to do all this and uh, it keeps a channel free on my mixer Fruity Loops outputs through the USB interface of this mixer which is the PV6 USB because you can interface it with your computer and stuff and then I just have a, a standard line that goes out to the main mixer over here and then of course I've got my headphones and everything um, this is just kind of like a portable uh, remote station where I can control everything without having to do anything over on the main mixer and then if I want to take it places whatever I can do that I've got uh, Fruity Loops on the laptop uh, so I can do the same thing uh, anywhere else and with a USB keyboard like this Yamaha and yeah so that's pretty much um, the changes that have been made in here everything else is still the same and I still do my production work and everything like that the stream computer over there still goes and uh, yeah so if you have any questions or comments you can leave a comment below or email questions at macintech.net you can even send me a text or call me if you want my phone number is actually on the YouTube page we have itself Go there, look at the number, send a text, send a voicemail, call, whatever you'd like, you know, or you can come into our chat room and chat with us, see what's going on and things like that. And yeah, so this is just kind of an update of what's been going on and the changes that I've made and, you know, everything else is pretty much the same. So yeah, let me know your thoughts, questions and comments. Also, if you happen to enjoy the videos that we have on YouTube here, why don't you subscribe today by going to youtube.com forward slash Macintech. We'll chat at you later.